Hello, it's Lena. Guess what this is? This is my glow-in-the-dark petunia. So we had this series of crazy intense storms and the power was out my generator wasn't working and I was like oh my gosh what am I going to do our house is like pitch pitch black. So I had a power bank that is for like lamps and camping and stuff like that. So I put it on my bedside table, I plugged a lamp into it, but in order to turn on the power bank, you have to find the button, which of course is black and in the darkness, I couldn't even find that to be able to turn it on to be able to turn on the lamp. So I was like, oh, I need something that glows in the dark. So I went and got my beautiful glow in the dark petunia. I put it on the nightstand and because I always have it under this bright artificial lamp up here, it was supercharged up. I put it down and then in the night I woke up with some lightning and thunder going on and I could see where my phone was because it was reflecting the glow from the flowers in the dark and I could see where the power bank was so I could push the button to turn on the power bank to then turn on the lamp. I'm like, yeah, these paid for themselves. They were more reliable as a light source during a bad storm than a flashlight. Money well spent. So now care and maintenance. These are just like any nor other normal petunia if you've ever had them or grown them before. But when you put them outside, usually they'll flower for the season and then once bad weather, you know, really, really super crazy hot days or winter starts, you know, you're going to have to replace them. These, on the other hand, you can grow permanently indoors and you can grow them in flower pots and make displays. In fact, I'm still debating what I'm going to do with them. They just need six to eight hours of good, strong sunlight or artificial light like I'm using. And they need to be consistently moist, never dry out more than about an inch at the top and don't ever keep them soaking wet. Just make sure that they're in a pot that drains well. Um, I'm gonna be using these to make something, probably a hanging basket because they are a trailer. And so they are gonna look really, really pretty when they start to spill out. Hi, Whisper. This is our new addition to our family. Do you want the cat? No, baby, because I'm filming currently. Okay, I'll put but I do want her. Don't get me wrong. I want that kitten. Okay, baby. So I've been giving them Super Thrive and a little bit of fertilizer for flowering plants. And they have been blooming like crazy. Um, the way that they created them was really interesting. They used... Um, bioluminescent mushrooms and so the leaves don't really glow but the blooms and the buds do and the buds are actually way brighter than the blooms and as long as they're getting that full amount of light they charge up just like a calculator okay the cool thing is so i've ordered four total and i gave one away to a friend who gives me fantastic plants like this one and this one and having three of them is fun because now I can group them together. I'm keeping them in here though right now. So I hope you guys give them a try. Go on the website. So this is the website and it has all the care and maintenance instructions, but not any different than you would do for any other petunia, but I'm gonna grow mine indoors. That way I can control um, the light and the temperature. 
Have fun gardening. I'll see you guys later.